Hello everybody, this is Ozaz Gaming again, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dredge. In the previous episode, we went around making some sacrifices to some entity that I'm sure won't come back to bite us in the butt. I hope. Uh, for new equipment. And I've done some digging. Apparently, uh, the one that we're currently working on is the only really good one worth going after. I might still go after the others, who knows. But, uh, anyways, in between episodes, went ahead and got things repaired, because of that asshole giant serpent. Uh, salvaged up what I thought was a flag, and yes, it was. It was a pirate flag. It's currently in storage, so. But I also acquired the fish, uh, the crabs that we needed. The rock crab, and from what I have read, Aberrations can be used in the sacrifice. Uh, also, gathered up the cash I needed in order to uh, get the tier 3 upgrade for our boat. We'll take care of that after we take care of the uh, sacrifice. Which we're not too far off from. Now, allegedly... Ooh, salvage. Uh, allegedly, the condition of any fish or crabs that you put inside the the uh, ba -ba -ba, sacrificial areas is frozen. So that decorator crab should still be there. Hopefully. Uh, also, something that I've learned is that we're going to need at least four research parts before we head to the next area. Also, I am at some point going to need to get a trawling net. Because one of the missions there requires a fish we can only acquire via trawling. Oh boy, sun's getting real low. Uh, oh, yeah, that's one of those lore things that we need to be insane to take a look at. Ooh, research part. Yes, please. I don't remember how many I have in storage. I think I've got a couple. I also know that there's some that we can get... And, yeah, as you can see, the fog... Massively increase well, not massively, but it increases our panic. And, yep, that was right. Let's see. Amber glue holds shattered fragments, deep dweller cracked from the pressure. You lied to me, internet! You lied to me! Because that perfectly fills it, but, uh... Obviously, that wasn't enough. Well, at the very least, we can get that lore rock, assuming we haven't already. Let's see, a deep vision enters your mind. No, we got the one on Blackstone Isle. Blustery wind screams through the cliffs, diving and turning. It passes over a large wooden ship at anchor, all flags filling suddenly. A skinless face appears on the fluttering fabric. A wail of terror rises from the crew. Yeah, seeing things that ain't there. And something didn't slither into my... Oh, well, whatever. Well, we gotta get back around to the dusty pontoon and hope that the crab traps have caught another regular rock crab. But at the very least, we know we can place stuff inside the the uh. Brr, 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 brr. altars and not worry about them rotting away. So that's something at the very least. Alright, 
more than one. Stormy day. Now, one of the tricks I used, and I'll go over this once we get to the pontoon. Hmm. You alright? You're looking a little jittery. You're free to rest here anytime. Now, sell that. Storage, 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 storage. And now... Let's hit the floating dock and at the very least get our new hole. Add th nine new cargo spaces. Not bad. May as well. Tier three hole. Nice. And may as well start putting in some materials. And yeah, we're just one shy of all that we need. the research parts that we need. And unfortunately, we don't have the cash to get this upgrade. That's fine. We can always come back later. of fabric for this. Probably should have actually gone for this, because then I could have gotten another jet engine. Well quote-unquote, another jet engine, because, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't have the space for that. 1500 for this. And apparently the Iron Haven DLC adds a, uh, adds a, uh, whole new tier. But anyways, yeah, one of the tricks that I did... was just looking at the meters at which it was caught, placed one within the five meter range for the decorator crab, and one at beyond that, like just beyond it, because you start getting fewer and fewer crabs the deeper you go, to keep myself from getting a decorator crab. Not that it's impossible to get a rock crab, but, you know. Just, uh increases your chances. And I'm just gonna put those in storage because I don't believe I need them. And if I do need more crabs, then I could always use what we're about to get. Right, I'm just gonna cut through this way because it'll be faster, I believe. Yeah, it'll be faster to cut through the shortcut. Get out of here. Mm, 
balloon. Let's see. I don't have the explosives I need to blow that open. And I probably should have sold off one of those crabs. Oh well. There we go. So we have learned no aberrations. The three crabs shudder, legs clicking into strange angles. Though long dead, some unseen power commands their corpses into action. The crabs scuttle over the altar, disappearing into cracks in the stone. Suddenly the rock splits in two, revealing a sunken chamber at its core. Mouth of the Deep. Yield one to two per day, has a six by six capacity. And has an aberration bonus of 10. Apparently, this is one of the only uh, items that is good. For middle little cage with a vast gaping maw. Sure to swallow up anything unlucky enough to stumble into it. Alright, well that's one altar taken down. Uh, gonna be a while before we get the next one, just because that one... Requires sharks, which requires a rod that can do oceanic stuff. And while, yes, I could get one now, there is something else that I want to do before doing so. Because... Uh, it'll actually help me out in the long run to not do it now. Although... Uh. Alright, three explosives should be more than enough for now. Uh, I'm gonna head back to the merchants. We're gonna get this bad boy repaired. Mm. 35 bucks, but it lasts eight days. It's a damn good fish mm. uh, crab trap. Now, I did mention. that I was gonna need a trawling net for what's to come. Question is, can I afford it? I cannot. Yippee. Oh well, may as well get moving to where it is we need to go now. And that, I can remove that. And I can remove this. Although, although, I do need, want, should probably start taking care of one of the hooded figures. Because, I don't know if I did this on camera, but we did find the yellow one. I don't know if we can take care of it yet, because I forgot to do research into what they need. I do recall this one, however, around here somewhere. Riding chest peeks out from the skeleton of a wrecked ship. Let's take a look inside. Yeah, alright. I do have a bunch of treasures I could sell off. I could head back to uh, Little Marrow for that. But, uh, where is he? I know he's around here somewhere. I say he, I don't actually know. Okay! Yep, yeah, nope. Yeah, that's something that can happen. Giant what amounts to hermit crabs, I guess you could say. Somewhere within this area. Because I know you can find them on the way from Greater Marrow to the Gale Cliffs. Maybe over there?
Ooh, and yes, we want to collect these Iron Haven crates. And I'm thinking we're probably going to want to get over there. Once we've gotten at least the tier 4 upgrade for the ship. Good boy. Because there's actually a tier 5 upgrade we can get for the ship from there. Ah, there he is. Uh, place a marker. Place this one. Because it is a quest. You approach the hooded figure, swathed in dark blue robes. Their face is barely visible. Fisherman, please help. You can barely hear the rasping whisper above the wind and waves. Fulfill the hunger. The hooded figure unfurls an old paper scroll. They point to the shape at the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. Okay, so we need a blue mackerel. We're going to need to get a tiger mackerel. And then there's one from an area that we have not yet been to. And one that requires having a rod that can do volcanic fishing. That's kind of why I held off on talking to him until now. Uh, nope. Because, uh, like I said... Lumpy mackerel. Not what I needed. Like, we've still got time. But, like, you don't want to take too much time after talking to them. Because if you do, they will die. Uh, let's see. Sell that one. Send that to storage. Send that to storage. Send that to storage. Now, he wants a blue mackerel. A tiger mackerel, which we can get from the Gale Cliffs. And a... Something mackerel. Not a something mackerel, that's not what it's called. I can't remember the name of it. Or was the tiger mackerel the one from the... Fill the hunger. With expert precision, they plunge their hands through the goal of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuff it into their mouth unceremoniously. Or still empty. Point to another shape on a second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. Okay, tiger mackerel. Should be found at Gale Cliffs. Tiger mackerel. During the day. Uh, troll. Can't be caught by pot. Alright, so next up, Gale Cliffs. Which I'm going the opposite way from, but I kind of had to navigate out of here first. May as well pick up the pace. But, seeing as how it can only be caught a day, may as well rest. We've got... some time. And let's use the spyglass to oh geez, stonefish tiger mackerel. Don't you do it? We just need it for this guy.
Again, they rip into the flesh of the fish, drawing out its heart. It's consumed as quickly as the first. Almost fulfilled. They point to a fish on the finest scroll. This one is a snake mackerel. And snake mackerels can only be found... ...at the Devil's Spine. Let's see. Snake mackerel, day or night, at Devil's Spine. Devil's Spine, we need to go over here. But Devil's Spine... Is um <laughs> a volcanic region. And volcanic region requires a volcanic rod. And why I don't have the right equipment for this spot. Interesting. Oh, dolphins. Ah, perfect. There we go, a snake mackerel. May as well catch some more to sell off. I do still need money. Alright, back we go. You know, I might take some time in between the episodes to do a bunch of fishing. I mean, obviously not between this episode, because I do batch recordings. Because it's the only way I can stay on top of things while having a full-time job. Anyways, uh, where was I? Alright, in between episodes, I might do a bunch of fishing and finally replace those two regular engines I've got with a... With the jet engines. Ah, here we go. No. Not quite. But I can get some stuff out of this. And that actually solves all of our research part problems. Not that we were having problems per se. But there were... Well, we needed the uh, research parts for something coming up. Fish has barely left your hands before its splintered nails begin peeling at its scales. The heart is extracted and devoured. Their head tilts upwards, upward to look at you. They take a book from inside their robe and hand it over. Hunger. Sated. Now, I wait. They cross their arms and appear to fall into a deep slumber. Alright, well, we got ourselves a new book. And these are some actually decently powerful books. Uh, I can remove that, because we're done with that. And I think I'm going to head for the Dusty Pontoon, rest for the night, and then we're going to make our way to the new area. the state of the screen, I'd like to think there's something chasing us right now. Alright, hit up the fish market. I probably should have sold these off beforehand while they were still fresh, but oh well. Uh, send all that to... Storage, especially this. 
Yeah, because I could get so much more out of this. Uh, what was it going to do? You know what? Floating dock. You got all that. Just need the cash for that. Engine space. I just need one more bit of wood. For this I need two wood, two metal. But honestly, light space ain't a high priority for me. Okay then, now that we're done with that... I say... We head for new lands. For that, we're gonna need to head west. We did very briefly end up in that area. Very briefly. Unless that happened off camera. I don't know. Huh. I don't think I ever found this. Oh, it was the photographer. Ugh. I had some people keep mentioning that. Ahem, <clears throat> hello. Sorry, would you step out of the way for a moment? You're in my shot. You move to the side. A few seconds later, the photographer sighs in exasperation and mutters to herself. Oh. This simply won't do. Uh. What's the matter? The angle of this lens is all wrong. I'll never get a close-up shot of anything with this and the others. Fear they were lost overboard. Uh. <sighs> she sighs again and looks off to the west. Oh, well, I'm headed west. I was sailing from Stellar Basin, you see, squeezing my boat through a narrow gap between two islands, and then I crashed into some coral. I thought I heard something in the water behind me, so I dared not stop. If you were to be, if you were able to retrieve the lenses for me, ah, let me see. Mm -hmm. Germans just through what few belongings survived the trip. Mm. I have a spare camera here that I won't need here. Welcome to it if you can find those lenses. I'll mark on your map where I think I lost them. Okay. I may as well mark, th mark that. And you know what? That's on the way. Yes, we very briefly passed through this area. Find it's a rather tropical. Oh yeah, there were also these crates here I needed to grab. Or wanted to grab, I should say. We're gonna need a lot of these. Now, you do have the ability to make these. But obviously that comes at the cost of... Materials that could be used elsewhere. See, I can remove that from the map. The next individual, hooded individual, is over there. Yeesh, I really need to upgrade my speed and finally get rid of those engines. But like I said, that's gonna have to wait. Oh, we're almost out of time, so I may as well finish things off with this. That's a goblet. A collection of cases have washed up against the shore. Some have already split open and lost their contents to the waves. Photography equipment. Perfect. Cases containing professional looking camera equipment. Someone will be missing this. Alright. Gotta get back out that way. And I forgot once again to turn off the alarm. Keep doing that. Or it looks like we can dock here for the night. Probably for the best. See, how's progress on that book? Ooh, almost done. I 
believe... Yeah, this is somewhat thing we already found. Alright, well, I'm gonna end things off there for today. At the start of the next episode, we will already be at the photographer to drop off those le the, uh, camera equipment. But yeah, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications when I upload. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.